morning. Please join me for opening prayer. Dear Father, I want to thank you again for another day and that you ask that you would uh, be here with us and guide in all that we're doing. Please um, give me the words and help me remember the things that are needed. Um, I want to thank you for answering our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I'm just going to continue where we left off yesterday. Um, so, on July 6, 2022, uh, I sent this chart to Theodore. I had been looking at various periods of 69 one was uh, the 69 weeks leading to the covenant week, which which can also be expressed as uh, 483 years. So when you multiply 483, um, where's the calculator? By um, a year, which would be 365.24219. You would get this number, um, 176,411. Um, so I noticed that this looked a lot like a year. Um, so I, I took a closer look at this. Um, and, and also, I guess the other notable part is you have this 1764, which is a very recognizable number because it's um, seven times two fifty two, and then you'd have this eleven nine, which is like November ninth, with all these sevens on it. Um, and it's two days from Jeff's birthday, so when I actually looked it up, um, I noted that it's one hundred and eighty seven years from Jeff's birthday. Uh, so f further. When taking 26 years in both the prophetic, so this, this is prophetic over here, um, and the uh, Gr Gregorian down here, um, it uh, gives you some interesting results in, in, in terms of the time spans that are generated because uh, it gives you this period of. Um, 119 days, which is similar to my birthday here. You also have all these, you have the four sevens, which you might remember from the calculator there. Um, and more recently, um, we've discussed Capricar's constant. So that's actually part of, you know, these numbers here, the one six, I mean, sorry, one seven six four. So that, I believe, rates could potentially relate back to that as well. And of course, uh, 1764 is uh, 7 times 252. So yes. that's the number of years from 34 AD to 1798. Okay. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Uh, yeah. And I also, I, w it seems like there might have been some other spans that we had. Or well, if we go back from 34 AD, it brings us to 1731 BC when um, uh, Jacob blesses his 12 sons. Okay. So that was found by Stephen and I in 2016. Okay, the other... W Probably the last thing worth noting here is this June 22, which this date appears to keep uh, popping up every now and then. Okay, so on July 23, 2022, after having a discussion with Theodore about how pi was seemingly random numbers, uh, I found a web page that allows you to search for a series of digits within pi. So 
you know, this is kind of a common theme. I actually type in this number 2520 as the first step. And what I got was, as you can see right here, it's 1844. So, you know, Miller and the Millerites ended up, you know, determining the 2520 ends in 1844. So I, I say, I'm basically saying that's not an accident. Um, also, um, oh yes, the other point. Um, uh, this was on July 23, if you recall. So that's 723, which points to 723 BC, which is um, the first 2520. So it's pretty interesting there. And then on July 29, 2022, uh, Theodore had added up the eight presidents. Uh, there, was, there was this uh, spelling issue. I think this was kind of based on Colin's presentation, um, you know, that he had those eight presidents there. Um, so there was, I think there was a, the spelling error is just in this Barack. Um, so, but it also could add up to 780 and seven, 780. If you take that as days to hours, you get 18720. And then the combined gematria either way is going to be 2187. So that was just some interesting gematria there. And on October 8, 2022, which can be a symbol for 8-8, um, eight, eight, or I guess there's different times we've seen 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, maybe the um, sanctifying of the temple, for one. Um, I had the idea of looking at triangles uh, with a side of 252 and 777. I mean, that structure, you know, we obviously have the 777 days. We have 252 days that go to July 18. Um, so it turns out that when you do this calculation, um, I believe uh, there's something called calculator soup where this is, th that's where this was from. Um, where you can calculate different triangles. Um, these are the results that you get. You get this, again, you get the 1764. So that's the perimeter around the triangle. Um, and this it has really interesting characteristics. Okay, so you see the 252. And then we just, like we just mentioned a minute ago, um, 7 times 252 is this number right here. So the perimeter is 7 times. Um, and there's another interesting thing in that uh, the in radius is 105, and 105 times 7 is 7, 735. So this is a radius of a circle that fits right into this. Um, it fits in here, and it touches all, all the sides. That's, that's basically what it's saying by in radius. Um, so that, again, very interesting, is seven times the in radius. Um, and I have some notes over here on the side. I guess that's what we went through. Oh, B corner to H. So I probably meant this beta symbol, but I didn't have, like, the beta symbol. So from here to H, this little segment right here, the distance of that is 8 one, seven, and two. Does that look familiar? Uh, so that's dividing the 777, seven, because seven, this side right here is 777, seven, seven, right? So you've, you've got the symbol for July 18 in this hypotenuse right here. It comes right, I mean, when you put a right, this is a right triangle, again, another right triangle, that, that comes down to this corner. So that's quite, quite interesting, I thought, anyway. 
And then the area, the, the entire area of this triangle um, is the reverse of that 1629 symbol that Odilio had brought up again. So it's nine, in this case, it's nine, two, six, one, and then zero. Um, so uh, just a few other notes here. Um, 735 days. So if you take this number here, this 735. Oh, yeah, I probably should talk about, I probably should have wrote this in the notes too, but the way I looked at this as 735 days is what I considered what would happen if you just, if you took these time time spans and you, you treated the time spans as a, you know, as a, period of time so like I split open this triangle and I rolled it out through time so that it's actually just straight um, that then I took this 735 days and I think I wish yeah I wish I had wrote this down because I could tell you what where I started but I believe it was like um, let me see do I have it here oh yes I do uh, 735 days after July 18 was uh, the previous. Actually, the this is what that's this date, this um, 723 when I found this. Uh, you know, the 2520 in 1844. So another interesting correspondence there. Um, and I did also note here another interesting triangle using this hypotenuse of, of uh, I probably should have included a picture with that as well. But anyway, you're still using the same hypotenuse of 777. And if you have a side of 490, then the perimeter of that triangle would be 1870. And an in radius would be 158. So that would kind of be like the midnight cry in July 18 symbols right there. So October 15, 2022 uh, was considering uh, the ratio of a square and circle or you know these various relationships like when you put you have an a circle I mean a square with a Inscribed, yes, thank you. Inscribed circle or a, a circle with an inscribed square. Okay, so these are the relationships that you get. So it's just telling you if you have this, the the black circle. I mean, black square right here has having a length of one, so it's one by one. Then this blue would be root two. The area of the black would be one because it's one times one. And so if you subtract the orange, I mean, you're subtracting the black from the orange, you get this number that we recognize, 0 0.273, which is number for the Levites. Um, and the area of the blue, I think this is based on s some discussion we had in, the in one of the studies about I don't know. It seems like I remember we were talking about the the ratio of the moon to the earth because we have so many of these 273s. Um, and so I also considered the complement to that. So the blue minus the orange would be 727, which is very similar to July 27. So we can say that 273 and 7. 27 are the divisions of area created by or yeah by a circle between the inner and the outer squares the inside square is half the area of the outside square this may be emphasizing the number four in a circle as with uh, four angels holding the four winds which are related to July 27 in Revelation 9 okay So on uh, 
November 29, 2022, uh, while in the study, Theodore had asked about selling the School of the Prophets. So when I looked it up, I noticed that there were symbols being represented. Um, when I looked at the sale details and I was looking at Zillow at the time, um, the list date uh, showed as January 13. I think if you actually went in there and looked now, it might show a different date. Um, but that is the date that it was showing at the time. And I suspect it was just based on what was the last time it was listed because when you have a property for sale, it can be listed then relisted and relisted several times before they actually sell it. So I believe this would probably just be the last time they relisted it before it sold would be, you know, they made some change. And then the sale date was January 21st. So you can see the, the significance of those those numbers here. Um, because, you know, Theodore has mentioned this several times in the study, but we have July 18, and then you have 187 days to the sale of the school. Um, and then if you're counting back to this last time that it was listed here, it would be July 18 minus one, 187 days till this, till this listing and the sale, you know, eight days in between. Um, and also, um, Zillow is really nice to give you the percentage points, like between the sale price and the list price. So it already kind of listed out. Um, you have this 18.7% drop between the 799500 that they listed it for. And of course, it's 81.3% is the amount of the original. So that's, you know, like 813. Because these are obviously complementary numbers, so they add up to one. Um, and some other notes here are that it lists as 10 bedrooms and 7 baths, kind of like the Day of Atonement. Um, in some listings, you might see 5.2. That's because two of them are considered half bathrooms. And then you have this other Capricars um, number that's not in the right order, but it's the same set of digits. You have um, 4176 square feet that was in the listing. Let's see if I have anything else here. Um, I think that's it. So January 14, 2023, I was considering the area of a circle compared to the in radius, or not in radius, but the radius. Uh, so 360, when you take 360, uh, it would relate to the Day of Atonement because you get 10.7. And if you take a year, that's what this is here, uh, the solar year, 365.24219. The, then the radius would be 10.782, which is very similar to July 18, 2020 even, because you just take the zero, you move it over here. You take the eight, you put it over here. Um, and then if you have a, this is a lunar 12 month, un, sorry, 12 month lunar year, you're going to have uh, 354 days, 0 0.37808. And then the radius is going to be all the numbers you need for 1260. Um, of course, all these numbers are really, they're connected to July 18, because, you know, if you have... 7 times 18, you're going to have 126. In this case over here, this is July 18, obviously. And, uh, and this is the 187th day of the year when you have the Day of Atonement. So on February 18, 2023, uh, was reading through Esther and thought it would be interesting to consider the date for Purim. Uh, and it turned out, uh, well, by the way, the, you know, the, you have the text here, 
um, the Bible text, Esther 9, 20 through 29, uh, where it's talking about this um, remembrance of Purim, um, where uh, Mordecai wrote, so that's the 920, 920 symbol for the Sunday law. They're writing a law essentially here. And then when you come down to verse 29, Esther the queen, the daughter of Abihel, and Mordecai the Jew wrote with all authority to confirm the second letter. So again, it's here. there's a writing that goes on here at 29, which is yet another, just another form of the 20th day of the ninth month. Um, and then, so if you take the date that is the subject of this, which would be these two days, um, Adar, which is the 12th month, and then the 14th day and the 15th day, you just multiply these out, you get 2520. And I think I remember also the movement had associated this decree, or at least this history of Haman's decree, with uh, what the fourth twenty five twenty? Yeah, there was some way in which one of the Okay, not totally remembering, I guess, at that point, but that's sort of what I remember. Okay, so next slide. Uh, so on Theodore's sixtieth birthday, uh, which would be February six. 2023, just recently, uh, I scheduled time off for the camp meeting, this this one that we're in right now. Um, it, and uh, as you can see in this um, screenshot here, it was, it was 9.19 for me, but for theater it was uh, 10.19 a.m. because we're one hour apart. Um, but the 10.19... Essentially, that'd be a symbol for my birthday, and this is happening on Theodore's birthday. Uh, and it was uh, interesting here that this record ID just happened to be 2520, so all the people that use this scheduling thing, I guess there were 2,520 records that came before, or 20, uh, 19 records that came before mine. Um, so that I th thought was pretty interesting. <clears throat> and uh, considering uh, that the date for camp meeting can represent seven times um, the, the prime of 360, so it's a, it's a type of 2520 as well. Uh, and then my name produces 252, and all these other 252s that you would see um, but I never actually used this vacation because I was laid off on July 7, a symbol for my birthday on the biblical calendar. I did not notice this until March 21, a symbol for the Sunday law. So on March... Okay, I see I have a question. So sorry about that. It took me a while to, to notice that, Angela. Uh, so by root two, you mean the square root of two. Um, yeah, I believe that would be correct. Okay, again, March 19, 2023. I noticed the total number of verses in the book of Numbers can be divided into um, 777 and 512. Um, so basically there's going to be a verse somewhere where that verse, or two verses actually, where it's the 777th verse, and it's also at the same time the 512th verse. So 512 then is... Um, Two to the ninth power, and I can show you that if you just go two to the ninth power here. It's five twelve, um, which is a symbol for the Sunday law, as the twentieth day of the ninth month. And also, I had previously noted. 
uh, that if you go from the beginning or the end of the Bible, you arrive at symbols for the Sunni law with 777 chapters. So between uh, between these, you have the symbol, you kind of have a secondary symbol for the cross here because you have this number 412, which is four times prime of 27, and the cross is April 27. That's the actual date that uh, the crucifix crucifixion took place. Um, so looking at these actual Bible for, uh, references here. Um, so going forward from Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, which by the way has this reverse sum of 777, it takes you to Jeremiah 32 verse 1, if you're counting up 777 chapters. That's a Sunday law symbol like in 321. And then you have Revelation, the end of the Bible. You count backwards. You get to Ezra 10.9 for the Sunday law, the 20th day of the ninth month. Okay. So on, on uh, March 24, uh, during the Friday evening study, the, the way that Theodore was describing Parminder and Tess reminded me of Jim Jones. So I looked up his, his, uh, his name on Google and noted that it, his birthday was uh, May 13, 1931. Um, and at the time, I already had my birthday in the calendar converter, so it, it just popped up with uh, this number, um, 16961, which I recognize because Theodore had previously um, um, noted this number. I think he, he was looking at a period of 46 years uh, from the midnight cry going back to 1798, and it took... It took. Um, it went to uh, Stephen's birthday. Um, so, I noted that number, and uh, I also noted, of course, that this date itself um, was a three three uh, ninety one five combination. So all the digits here. I mean, some of them repeat, but all the digits for three ninety one five are here in this date, and that's the only digits that that are there. It's not no extra ones. And I also, at a later point, noted that he was born in Crete, Indiana. So you have the 118, which should be associated with the 391.5 here. Uh, so yeah, those are the number of days there. And, uh, and then Jonestown, that date also had a 391.5 combination as well. Um, I think I've seen different counts in different places, but I know one of them is is 913 plus, plus 5. So this was at Jonestown, the 913, and 5 was at an airstrip where they were attacking, like, the senator and some reporters. Um, and the date for that was... Uh, it was... Uh, November 18, but also this happened to be 900, 900, sorry, 391 days and half a week um, for my birthday. So that's another 391.5. This is a 391.5. And of course, we just mentioned that this was a 391.5. So there was all of these different uh, instances of 391.5 here. Um, I also just divided up this whole time span, and it ended up being 47 years plus 190 days. And 190 days will take you to July 10th, which would be a symbol for the Day of Atonement. Um, what else here? Um... Oh, right. So seeing that this date 
17th day of the eighth month. So that's this date right here on the, on the biblical calendar, 17th day of the eighth month. Um, the next thing I wanted to know, if there was, if there was a relationship to July 18 of 2020. Um, so the number of days ended up being seven times, let's see, where is that? Oh, here it is. Yes, yeah, se seven times 1,087 times two. So that's this period from Jonestown to July 18. So there's definitely a relationship there. Um, not just the fact that it's July 18 backwards on the biblical calendar here, but you, go, you have this equation, which is pretty simple, just seven times. And then again, there are some interesting um, observations here. When you, keep, when you look at this Mayan calendar in relation to, to July 18, this isn't necessarily related except for, for the fact that we have these seven, these seven periods of 1087 times 2. So I just decided to look what happens if you go one more you come up with this date that's all 13, so 13 O, 13, 13 O. And of course, if you go um, 18,720 minutes later, you get all 13s except for this one. So 13 O, 13, 13, 13. Um, so that's a couple of years from now. I'm not predicting anything here. I'm just noting that this is a symbolic structure um, also, it was interesting to note that this whole period, if you just take these two together, which are ba both, both of these are symbols for July 18, 2020, then you just go backwards, you have 2187, or it's not really backwards, but it's the, the same set. Um, that's the sum of these two periods. Okay, so... Um, and then uh, 50 days later, on May 13, uh, it was the 92nd birthday of Jim Jones. Um, though the, you know, though this number can represent the Sunday Law, this 92, um, didn't really mean much until I noticed that the presenter, uh, at church th for the morning was Jim. So it was like a doubling of Jim. So Jim Jones birthday and Jim presenting. Um, so I looked into it further and noticed that, uh, 777 days prior to, prior to this presentation of Jim, uh, takes you to, um, takes you to uh, March 27th of 2021, which we have, you know, we have that as part of the 777 day structure. It's 273 days before December 25, um, 2021. Uh, but yeah, that's another seven, seven. And then you have this whole thing, which was already in place because I wanted to measure both directions. Um, going another 16,961 days going out to March 27th. So that's kind of a 391. Um, and if our, if we're looking for a five there, I would say, I don't know if it directly relates to this, but it was five days after this date, because this date, another thing happened that Theodore's mentioned already, um, that his sister-in-law passed away. And then five days later, he was noting that in the morning study. Okay. Um, and the discovery date uh, of March 24 of 2023, or it, um, it relates to uh, the prime prime of 360 because um, it has the, it has those digits 24, 23, which actually is the prime in question. The 24, 23 is the 360th prime. So. Um, 
I will cover additional dates related to this prime in later slides. Okay, so on May 28, 2023, uh, I shared this chart the night before I had been try trying to sleep and noticed a light came on. So I looked at my watch and it said 2.09 p.m. Um, then I remembered I had set the time to my wife's time zone because she was traveling back to where she was born. Uh, then I switched it to my own time and it was 11.09 p.m. So those two numbers together were pretty interesting because you have 11.9 and 2.09, um, which should remind us to, of the 777 days. Um, so I, I recognize this was a reference to the 777 day structure. And as I had time to think about it more, I realized that the same number, the same numbers represented by the birthdays of our children I mean, the same number was represented by the birthdays of our children. Okay, so, and even their baptismal dates are a symbol for the Sunday law, as well as the span of time between their births. So f uh, for comparative reference, I have put the 777 days here, as well as the chapters from the end of the Bible. So, this would be an 11.9 because it's 11 of September and 2.09 for February 09. And then you have a 32 lunar months in one day. It says another Sunday law symbol. Oops, I don't know why it's jumping to a different slide here. So I think we actually covered everything on this one. Uh, on June 8th, 2023, uh, before, I, uh, before the study started, Theodore had asked about Capricorn's constant. Uh, after he told me the number, I, I said it reminded me of the date for Ellen White's death. I looked at this a little more and I found there were three funerals after her death and a separate event for her burial. And you can see the links here if you wanna, I just added those in so you can look up these dates uh, or the scriptures in Ellen White's writings that talks about these dates. Um, and the idea was that if there was four events connected with her death, then all the digits of Capricorn's constant could be represented because we only had three digits of just um, July 16. So that's just three digits and you need a four. So, and it turned out, uh, and you know, it was just kind of an idea that I had. If you actually put all these dates into the calendar converter, um, these are the numbers that you, that pop up. And I also added in her birthday, which would be November 26. And I added in the funeral for James White, since we already had so many funerals on here. And of course they're married. And I also ended up adding her fall, which is kind of the event that led to her death, which would be February 13th. Um, 1915 and the the numbers that you see highlighted are the ones that kind of jump out um, this is a little bit different than what you've probably seen before because in this case there's multiple sp time spans being referenced here but if you actually go down in that diagonal you're going one five three three so that's a 1533. 
And if you're doing this one, five, three over here, then there's also from the end of here, from this zero, you get three over here. So you can do one, five, and then three like that. So uh, this is the first time I've really seen anything like that, where you're just jumping to different spans like that. Well, actually, no, that's not true. We've we've done that as well with Joseph, I believe. Like when we take the those seven year periods and it's divided like into two and five, we've used that before. So it's kind of similar to that, I guess. Um, that's probably um, why I was recognizing that. Um, and the significance of, of this number being that it's a three, two, one, you just drop the zeros. Really, it's the same thing here as well. Uh, but this number is 391 and a half because you have one over two plus 391. So that's 391 and a half in this case. So I've got a graph so we can actually just see more than just numbers here. We'll, get, we'll see that here on the next slide. I'm just checking my notes really quick. Okay, so using the spans noted in the previous slide, I put this chart together. Uh, taking the span of Sister White's life, we can have a representation of March 28. Um, that's based on the number of days, and we have that right here, 32,008 days. Um, the span to her middle funeral can represent the Bible. So that's, again, starting at her birth to this July 19, because it's uh, 32,011 days, which is all the numbers in the Bible. I mean, in the number of verses in the Bible, um, which would be 31,102 verses. And if you recall, we had this 15 or 153 and then three days that led up. So these, these periods end together. And you might also remember that Genesis has 1533 verses in it. So here I have a symbol for the Bible because I have the same five digits. And then I have this 1533 and they end together. So this is like... The, these two com combine together to represent the Bible and Genesis together in, in these time spans. Um, another period of 1533 we have in between the key dates uh, a Millerite history. So we're talking about August 11, 8, 8, 1840, and October 22 of 1840. That's a 1533 day period. Um, so based on this, I wondered if there might be a 391.5 that leads to the 1533. So um, this here here's this other 1533. We have July 18 to July 19, which is one day. Then we have this, these other, the second to the third funeral is five days. And then we have 33 days till she's buried. So this is this 1533. And I think I had asked that question before I looked up and added James White. So that was the first, I think that was the first thought I had is, okay, James White. And it turned out to be this 12,391 days, so which represents the half plus 391. And so this is basically a parallel to the 391 years and half of a month, half a prophetic month, which was 15 days of, in that, that Josiah Litch wrote about in uh, 1838. And then that led 
to this glorious manifestation going to 1840, this 1533 days would be the parallel. Um, so another thing I looked at here was the, the n exact number of months because I noticed that this burial date, August 26, well, that's exactly like her birthday. Well, because it's the 26th of the month. This is the 26th, and she died or buried on the 26th. So that we have this number of months of 1,053 months, which is 3 times 351, if you just break it into an um, equation here. Um, so this is 1533 backwards. That, you know, you still have 153 going forwards, which is short for 1533. Uh, and then I was considering this time span between the two, two burials, because this is also the date that James White was buried, he, his funeral and burial being on the same date. And this was a period of uh, 12,430 days. Uh, which is, if you divide this up, you get 34 years and essentially 13 days or this 18720 minutes, which you can say is another way to express the same thing would be the 13th day of the 35th year. So this would be like 1335, which, you know, 1335 is also what we've associated with 1533 as well. So it's just another form of the 1533. Um, but it's written out this way. Um, I think that may actually... Oh, one more point here. Um, which would be that uh, there's complementary dates. Um, so... I think we pointed this out before, but August 13 would be 813, which is a complement to 187. So these, uh, this 187 or July 18, 18th of July in that case, um, if you just add these together, you get 1,000. So those uh, funerals would be the first funeral for James White and the first funeral for Sister White, those are complementary dates. And I think that may actually cover all, all the points here. Um, yeah, just the other thing was you find the 1533 or the 1335 in Daniel. Uh, actually, it's the 1335 in Daniel 9. Okay. So on July 1st, not that long ago, I guess that'd be about 25 days ago, I was reviewing my notes and the graph on slide 20. So just really quickly go to slide 20. This is the slide 20 that we just talked about earlier. Um, um, sorry, here we go. <clears throat> I put the dates into the calendar converter, and I noticed that there were more per i mean more periods or more than one period of hundred and thirty eight days uh so I wondered if they might contain the same structure. Uh, this was the last presentation of Elder Jeff. Wait a second. I don't know. Maybe I skipped something here. Okay. Yeah, this was the last presentation of Elder Jeff. Once I had this date, um, it was the key to finding out the original chart, uh, which I had done 360 days earlier, so I'm just noting that that previous chart, the slide 20, was 360 days before this one. This place is a, a symbol for the flood on July 11th. 
So um, July 11 here, because it's 15,606 days, which you could rearrange the numbers and have 1656. Or this, which can also be represented as days to hours, it'd be that same symbol. Or 1656 AM for the flood. Um, and it's it's also using this period of 69 years, which is the 252.03, coming to November 7 of 2020. So you're having these parallel structures of 119 and 19 here. Okay, I think that, oh wait, is there anything else here? Oh, oh yeah, another note about June 22. Uh, so this June 22 date relates because it's fifty, uh, it's 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 forty three years to here, and another thing that happens on June twenty two is that's, I mean, also it's related to I should say that because, um, July eleven is the last time Elder Jeff presents, and June twenty two is the last time he sends me an email or communication, I guess, of any type. Really. So. And it and and this letter or the email that he sends me is about this number forty three thousand. Okay, so I think that covers this. Uh, is there a question? Okay, I guess that's a no. So uh, on July 3rd, 2023, uh, after noticing that there were 360 days that relate to the previous chart, I put these, I put the related dates into the calendar converter. And several more interesting points came out of this analysis. Uh, I had noticed that to the date of July to the date of July 1, the same digits as 7 times prime 360 were being represented. So, okay, where is that? Yeah, so July 1 being represent. I mean, going back to my birthday here, is 16,691 days, which you can also rearrange to be 169 Six one, uh, which is that other form of twenty five twenty or seven times the three hundred and sixtieth prime. Sixth prime. Um, that's just the if you're counting prime numbers because not every number is a prime number. It's just. Um, as you reach that prime number, that's the sixth, sixth prime. All right, and now uh, the main thing that we're dealing with here is the 360th prime. So that's, if you count off 360 primes, that's the prime that you come to, which would be 24, 23, or 2,423. Okay, so... Um, so the period of 360 days ended on that symbol for 7 times three th 360. And then since May 7, I already knew that the first day of the camp meeting uh, was the symbol for the same because that was uh, just an observation I made on May 7 and found that there were 23 days between those dates. Uh, let me see, found, it, okay, these two dates here. So July 1 to July 24, that's 23 days. 
uh, and then these 23 days connect to the symbol for seven times the prime of 360, which is again, I'm just going to say it's another, it's a form of 2520. And what I also recognize to be a period of seven times 360 or 2520 days, because you can see here there is a, a span of 2520 that comes to the same date here of July 24, um, which takes it back to August 29th of 2016, which is an important date. We'll talk more about that in a second. Um, sorry, I'm trying to go, go back and forth between the chart and the notes here. Uh, you you may see a parallel with the 2300 days and the 2520, which ends in 1844. Because you have that 23 and then you have 2520 together. I further noticed that there was a period of 1127 days from June 22 of 2020. So we just talked about that in, I believe, in the previous slide. Um, Okay, so here we go. This June 22, 2020 date has 1127 days, which works out to be three Mayan months. I don't, I don't remember all the names, so I just say they're Mayan months, or years actually in this case, two, two Mayan months and seven Mayan days. Um, and also noted here that July 18, 2020 had this Islamic date of 1127. So yeah, this period is being represented here. Uh, and then there's another period, there's a period of 426 days that run from May 24th. If you remember that May 24th date, that was just, um, we just talked about it recently here, the, it, where it had a Julian day of 723, I mean, a 1022 on the Islamic calendar. And then on the Mayan calendar, it, it was uh, 9.10.1 on the Mayan, which can also represent 1019 here. Uh, Oh, yeah, so this relates to the chart on slide 16. Uh, and May 24 was when I completed adding the Bab Babylonian calendar, which was key to understanding the lunations, which actually is kind of the, the lunations. I'm noting that because that was part, okay, that's not this slide, but there was another slide where we talked about the the 2520 plus 46, those, that was something I found using the lunation. So that's kind of the, the relationship here is this May 24 date kind of ties together. Um, sorry, this is probably pretty complicated, but it all does relate together. Um, was there any questions? Stephen? Okay. Um, also, let's see here. Okay, so I'm from my birth to August 29 to this date right here was a period of 14,194 days, which has a square root that relates to a structure. Um, in the previous chart, and also I, I, it's included here, so you can just see it. Some of it st uh, still remains here for reference. It is 119.138, which are these spans that connect uh, June 22, July 1, and November 7 here. So you see this is 119.138, and this is 138 and 119 days. 
that comes to November 7th, the 69 years. So what happened on August 29th? Uh, was a short phone call from FFA to myself where the representative had stated that my invitation to camp meeting was revoked. So when Theodore scheduled the camp meeting and invited me to speak the first day of camp meeting, which is all this one right here, the end of this chart here, um, he didn't know anything about that. Therefore, right, Theodore? Yeah. Uh, we can we can talk more about that in just a second. Let me, let me just finish this part. Um, uh, therefore, there is a very profound connection between these two days because it, they both relate essentially to camp meeting and you know the and it, the invitation. I think it's more about the invitation because it was the invitation that was being revoked, and then I already had when I was doing this chart, I already had the invitation from Theodore. It's not really about predicting the future or anything. It's about something that had already happened. Um, so I am I am noting the biblical and the Mayan date of for August 29, 2016 relates to the event in that it is the symbol for FFA in 525 because it's this year 6061 on the biblical calendar, which is FFA. Of course, that's the entire year. But it's this 525 on the biblical calendar. And the Mayan date is then this 313.7, which if you multiply it, two, is 273. Um, so then Theodore had asked a question. Uh, why was it revoked? I th I think the the high level would be there were some misunderstandings, um, but uh, there was a belief that I had uh, been pointing to the movement or pointing to Jeff or FFA as as making some kind of a prediction, which I don't understand why that would be the case. Um, I still don't know why, because I don't know what was going on back then. I know you were at the school, I think, at the time, right? So I was hoping you might know more about that. So I wasn't there on August 29th, because we left at the beginning of August. Okay. Um, but we were at that camp meeting. So... Yeah, I anyway. I don't know why they would have thought you made some, you were well, making some prediction. Well, I did, I did post something on Facebook. Um, it didn't have anything to do with FFA, but I had um, posted a prediction for um, October 12. I don't think I even knew that that was the Day of Atonement at the time. So it is representing this 187 mm -hmm. for this prediction, which failed, of course. Um, and also another observation I made about that was uh, Jeff actually made a reference to it in, so the first day of camp meeting, which was my birthday on the biblical calendar, um, it was actually uh, trying to remember what year it was because I should, probably should just pull it up here on the calendar converter if I have it open even. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the calendar converter up, but there was something else about that date. And one of the the other dates was the um, was the rabbinical calendar, and the year was five seven seven seven. And it, again, just like the biblical calendar, it was the seventh day of the seventh month as well. And then, if you look at that recording, the timestamp is like fifty one minutes. 
and 39 seconds, I believe. And then Jeff is just, he stops in the middle of a sentence. He never comes back to to finish his sentence. Um, and then he starts talking about me. So if anyone wants to look at that, um, that's where you would find it. Um, this video? Then? It's the first day of that camp meeting. Um, assuming it's still posted. Okay. I, I'm assuming it's still there on You don't the, have it on yours? Uh, no, I haven't posted it, but it should still be on the Future for America um, YouTube channel, I I would guess. Because okay. it's, it's, it's one of Jeff's presentations. Yeah. Everything else has been deleted, it, it yeah. appears. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I just noted that it was... It, that that whole that date could sort of be like a fractal representation of this of the seven 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 as well, just in everything that was expressed there, because it was it was my birthday, and it was three ninety one five. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the history there, and I lost that invitation. Okay, so what other slides do we have here? Uh, another, so I, I noticed on July 7, 2023, I uh, was considering a point in time when, when I was born. So I found that the age of my parents on that day also related to the 777 day structure. So when you add the the span to the third generation, the structure is completed. So it's using the, my father's age in the number of days old he was, which produces, or you can have this symbol for 391 and a half, because you have all the same digits that you need to form that number which would be kind of like, a, you know, the 391.5, it points to November 9. Um, so that's why I have this November 9, 2019 here. Um, of course, this, you can also have this symbol here because of this 119 in the October 19 date it, by itself. And then you have also 252 in my name. And then my mother's age, will give you this symbol for July 18. And then this span right here to the third, genera third generation here uh, gives you this number 31.305255, which are these symbols 1533 and then 525. So I just added for reference this is the same chart but it's just showing you these dates that we have in the the symbols although you could have i don't know you could also say that we we noted the 1533 that went to march 27th in 2021 instead of putting it here but i believe theodore had also noted this as well in one of his studies that is that you have these one year anniversaries re represented that go f from o the October 13th date, 2017, which relates to this October 13 of 2018 when the 391.5 begins. That takes you to November 9, then you have the 252 and 525 here, and 777. Okay, so. There's a question here. How can May 24 be 723, or did I misunderstand? Um, so with the May 24th date, let me just go back to make sure I'm referring to the right thing here. Okay, so the question is, how can it be 723? Well, this is a Julian day. So if you go to the calendar converter, you'll see that Julian day number. These are just the last three digits of the Julian day. So that's where, you, where you're going to find that 723, Angela.
Um, so that's the X, uh, X end of my slides. So it, if anyone has question, oh, here's another question. Have you the number of days in your mother's age? Yes, I do, but I wasn't going to put it here be, because, uh, because obviously I don't want to give her birthday, but um, uh, you might talk to me otherwise, and we can talk more about that. Okay, so at this time, um, it looks like we're over time. Sorry about that. So let's close with prayer. Dear Father, I want to thank you for this this day and for all of the, all of these symbols. And I pray that you'll help us as we consider these things. And please be with us this day and the presenters. And thank you for answering our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.